New at 10, putting a face on crime. What if you could see what a suspect looks like just from the DNA left behind? So it sounds like sci-fi, but Aurora police are some of the first in the country to use this cutting-edge technology to try to catch the bad guys. But Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found some question whether the science is ready. Private companies say they can use your DNA to make predictions about what you look like, your skin color, eye color, painting a digital picture of your face. But some researchers are concerned about how accurate that is, so we tried it ourselves. For more than 30 years at Fort Logan Cemetery. I still like to come out here and just be with them for a few minutes. Constance Bennett has been living up to her name. Here it is. But she is tired. Tired of waiting for answers at a tombstone with three names, all with the same date of death. January 16th, 1984. They called it the Hammer Murders. In the middle of the night, someone broke into her son Bruce's Aurora home, brutally murdering him, his wife Deborah, and their daughter Melissa. I know it terrorized the community. Aurora homicide detective Stephen Connor says police suspected the same man in a series of brutal murders and assaults, but the case went cold. The suspect was a ghost. You had no idea what this person looked like. Correct. So last year, Detective Connor decided to take a chance. A Virginia company called Parabon says it can create descriptions and digital snapshots based on genes. Look at this. The company's website shows examples of how much a DNA snapshot can look like the actual person. They say this technology has already helped solve one murder in North Carolina, where you can see the snapshot looked a lot like the man who eventually confessed. I think that's a big question. Dr. Mark Shriver, a Penn State professor, studies how genes influence your facial features and says more research is needed for accuracy. If you have my DNA, do you know what my face looks like? At this point, I don't think that anybody knows. So we put it to an unscientific test. A Denver 7 employee gave her genetic profile from 23andMe to Dr. Shriver and his colleagues. In minutes, they created these sketches. We added hair to make it look a little more realistic. You be the judge. Does it look like you? I think it kind of does. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw it. Now, when I showed this to my mom and my sister and my husband and my daughter and son, they all said, that does not look like you. <laughs> It's going to be a general appearance of what the person could look like. Detective Connor says the snapshots are most useful in eliminating suspects. So for the first time, they have an idea what the hammer murderer looks like, young and old. The ghost has a face. Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. To be able to say this is the guy and here he is, that's the next step is hopefully this will tell us where he's at. I think DNA is, is the hope for the future. Constance has never given up hope justice will be served, but she's worried she's running out of time. It's important to me that people don't forget about it. I haven't forgotten. And Aurora police say after they first released that sketch last summer, they got about 50 calls and they're still tracking down leads. So far, nothing's panned out. And it's not cheap. This costs about $3,500. Detectives wow. tell me, though, that they are hoping to use it for another case soon. And Shannon? That was fascinating. You know, a couple things strike me. One is that it's no less accurate than, say, just a, a regular um, uh, artist drawing of, of, of a witness uh, suspect. Exactly, I mean, it was but just there's as good no as witness. Exactly. Right. It's just your genes. And then you think about, sorry, Can I ahead. just point out, I'm not a suspect, by the way. <laughs> no, no. Just a subject here. Know. Just a subject. <laughs> and you think if that's possible today, what's possible in 20 yeah. years? That's remarkable. And he said in it five to 10 years, stuff. this will be everywhere. Golly, that was interesting. And fascinating. Thank you, Jacqueline. And thank Thanks, you guys. for All right. <laughs>